Hey socialites, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Ariel. I create beauty videos, a little bit of fashion, as well as lifestyle vlogs. So be sure to hit the subscribe button so you can become a socialite. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I do have my Instagram link in the description box. Today is going to be another makeup tutorial. I did want to try out the new Too Faced Born This Way Healthy Glow Skin Tint again and just kind of see how it plays with other products. So if you want to see how I got this look using these products then keep on watching okay socialite so I do want to try the born this way healthy glow uh, skin tint one more time I did do a full review of this product so you can click on that link right there to check it out but it's supposed to be a healthy glow and I'm just really trying to figure out where the glow part comes in at very long lasting but I was getting more matte than anything so we're gonna try this out again sometimes you just got to give a product more than one testing try it out with something else right so I'm going in with a primer this time I'm going to use the Mac Studio Radiance Primer which is an amazing primer if you want that sort of radiant finish to the skin beautiful and it helps the product to be a few hours more long lasting but like I said this product is super long lasting anyway and I'm going to let this sit about one minute before I go in with the underpainting technique I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Tantor Contour Cream this one's in the color 2 medium. To highlight, I'm gonna use the Dior Forever Skin Correct. This one is in the color four comma five in. This concealer has such a very natural finish with a full coverage. And because the Too Faced skin tint that I'm gonna use has such a natural finish, I just feel like these play so well together. So now I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Born This Way Healthy Glow Skin Tint. This one is in the color Maple. Every single thing that I'm using today, including the colors, will be listed down in the description box. So you can check that out if you need to. About a dime size of the product should be enough for your entire face. And I'm just gonna put that in the areas that I need the most coverage first. I'm gonna blend with my IT Cosmetics number no. seven brush. I'm gonna brighten the under eye just a little bit further with the Dior Backstage Concealer. This one is in the color 4N. Gonna take the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Powder. This one is the Ultra Blur Formula. For brows, I'm gonna use the Milani Stay Put Brow Color. This one is in the color Dark Brown. So I'm just priming my eye with concealer. That way the shadow has something to stick to. Using the One Size Palette from Patrick Star, I'm gonna take Soft Serve for the crease. About the first half of our lid, I'm putting Vanilla Sands. The other half, I'm gonna put Taupe of My Game. Sephora Collections Liquid Liner in Satin Chocolate. The LA Girl Perfect Precision Pencil. This one is in the color Nude. 
Using my Cocoa Pebbles palette, I'm gonna take the color Barney. YSL Lash Clash Mascara. I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty Liquid Kilowatt in Hustler Baby. NARS Soft Matte Powder in the color Offshore. Absolute Pro Bronzer, this one's in the color Dark. Charlotte Tilbury's Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in the color Medium. The Dior Backstage Rosy Glow Blush. Charlotte Tilbury Setting Spray. Cork Lip Liner from MAC. Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury. And Vanilla Cream Pie from NYX. So this is the final look. Thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it today. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Cause I've been where you are You're too scared to show me love Cause too fresh with the scars